Well, I keep getting sent videos that Ready or Not is either not ready or completely broken. Just straight up false advertisement and a plain scam. And I kind of just wanted to talk a bit about it. Because on some levels, I do agree, but on other levels, I feel like it's a bit too nitpicky or blown out of proportion. When I first heard about some of these videos, I was like, oh, is this going to be like Battlefield 2042 launch level of bad or... No, it's not that. In my personal opinion, I think that Ready or Not is definitely a fine game. It's, you know, an indie game that has a lot of content with it. Like, it has like 20-ish maps, which are fun. All very challenging, all very replayable. There's a campaign mode where you can do it just for funsies or go hardcore with Iron Man mode. You get rewarded with cosmetics and unlock more of the police station as you progress through the campaign mode. Stop looking like a pleb and get more drip. In the campaign missions, there's a bunch of, like, story elements that you could walk into Jesus Christ Fuck. oh my gosh container full of women. we need Thames down here right now uh, copy that entry team just listen to the trailers this is Pfizer stand down and shut that door entry team we're sending a unit to secure the container and its content what we're not leaving them like this close the doors Unless you want to interfere with a federal investigation, I suggest you shut the door and lock it behind you. Do your job and proceed with your mission. Understood? Wow. What Understood. Put the other guy back on. We'll talk later. No, we won't be. By the out. Mm -hmm. See? Entry team, you are cleared to proceed with the mission. Jesus. Wow. That is, uh... Yeah. There's this really cool tutorial mode that you can play around in. Good. There's the practice mode, which is just essentially you playing whatever maps you want, either with AI, by yourself, or with friends, or random people online. The change that they did here is probably the one that I am the most mixed on, because in the previous iteration of the mission selection, there used to be at least five game modes for each mission. And sometimes the game mode would throw a bit of a curveball and give you like a different part of the map, like same area, but different part of it. I thought that was really cool, but in this update, it seems like they just took out the game modes that you can pick for each map in favor of extra objectives for some of the maps and i don't know if i like that change i'll be honest like on one hand the original felt a little more like adding a lot more content to the game whereas this one feels like a bit of a surprise that you have extra objectives i'm not really sure which one i prefer let me know what you guys think in the comment section below on that one void interactive is really bad at naming things they probably shouldn't have named it practice mode because it just sounds like a tutorial now but ready or not is steaming with content and definitely well worth the 50 dollars and i'm not even mentioning the stupid amount of modded content that you could have in this game if there's anything that will keep it alive it's most likely gonna be the mods i can't tell you how many times i've seen so many you know people on youtube just playing modded maps or having so much modded cosmetics am i saying that ready or not is perfect is it the best game that you could ever get oh hell no there are definite issues that i have with the game but i wouldn't say that it's like the worst game i've ever played I think what these videos are really trying to point out here is that even though these developers went into 1.0, the game still doesn't feel finished because when you go into 1.0 it's supposed to be like the end all be all like yes we finally made it here we got everything that we wanted to be in the base game and now we could just move on to the DLCs. and that's just not what's happened here void interactive is not done with the main game itself that is for certain they're still planning to add a lot more stuff to the base game before they actually move on to anything like dlc related it really is a problem with the gaming industry as a whole and why a lot of gamers just feel jaded because almost every game now is just straight up early access like what does 1.0 even mean now when they're gonna just you know add on to it later when a game drops and it actually includes like almost every feature that they wanted to have in 1.0 it actually shocks the gaming industry like oh my god this game is actually finished unfortunately ready or not falls into this category of games not being finished upon release to give an example pvp is confirmed to come to the game 
However, it's not going to come until post 1.0. This was confirmed back about seven months ago, and they're going to be reintroducing it into the game. So why even go into 1.0? I imagine it has something to do with the investor, but I could be wrong. Although I would say that it's probably like the least egregious game that I've played compared to a lot of others, but it's still a big problem. A lot of these videos that I've seen point out a lot of minor bugs like clipping issues or UI issues. None that really affect the gameplay all that much. Maybe just breaking immersion but aside from that the main big ones from what i've seen are the ai sometimes they can either be cracked or dumb and performance issues which i've definitely felt another thing that people have talked about is like false advertisement and i'll get into that in a little bit because it's its own beast but to the first two i think the ai is definitely better than it was a year ago it's been significantly improved but there still are some hiccups here and there where the swat ai will just get stuck on a door or sometimes the ai will just straight up shoot you through walls although some of the examples that they show on here are kind of like okay you threw a smoke grenade but you threw it down a hallway the one spot that you would think somebody would shoot if they're trying to engage you know like it's a it's a hallway you're not gonna move left or right i kind of wish that this guy had actually hopped into the replay viewer to show us where the ai actually is because if he's like maybe off to the side here then i could see oh he's shooting through the wall but if he's standing in front of the hallway and he's shooting through the hallway then it's like bro and then i saw them like shooting through walls but there's like windows right there that clearly reveal your location like you could clearly see the ai from your position so if you can see them from there they could probably see you too yeah i've been shot through walls but whenever it happens it's because the ai actually sees me shoots me as i'm like trying to get into cover but the cover that i'm getting into is almost always shitty cover so the bullets go right through it i'm not saying that you know i excuse that i'm just saying that i kind of wish that there was you know better examples of them just straight seeing you through a wall and just shooting them because a lot of the clips that i've seen seem to be because they heard you on the other side or there's shooting through transparent cover like maybe they don't see you exactly but they could see like a silhouette through a window like i just really want to see like a lot more concrete examples like if you're gonna do a clip where they shoot you through a wall make sure to get it where they actually start shooting in the replay viewer please and obviously the performance issues are probably the biggest issues that hindered my experience especially in the car dealership area i was you know stuttering through that thing like crazy the game needs more optimization but i think it might be because they added in the replay system like that's probably what's really hindering my gameplay if i had to guess which yeah they added a replay system it's pretty cool but the game probably requires a lot more ram or something because it's now recording as you're playing so i have two recordings going on at the same time that hinder my experience oh man if only void had alpha testers to find these kind of things but yeah let's get into the whole false advertisement ordeal so the developers over at void interactive have called themselves perfectionist what that means i have a couple of ideas but to quote the investor even though we are tiny studio we are making triple a game in red or nut and he technically isn't wrong but in my personal opinion i think void interactive is a brand new small studio that was way in over its head attempting to be a spiritual successor to the swat series if you're someone like me who's followed this game religiously then you know more than anyone else that void has a track record of promising the world and either under delivering or just not making the mark at all you should have seen the original website they had a lot of stuff on the website that they never brought into the game but it's not that they didn't try like i saw a lot of stuff that they were doing behind the scenes like they were working on it the problem is that these developers didn't understand you know game development sometimes you just have to cut things or sometimes you spend too long on a project and it ends up just not getting into the game three years you know three and a half years before we finished this thing but even I was, we, we were all kind of naive and, and, and kind of young into the industry, we didn't really know what it took to make such a complex game. So here we are, you know, five years later, and we're still working hard. Now we have uh, quite, a, quite a significant team and working, working and, and, and having a, a, a load of fun, you know, working on the project. But, uh, it was just interesting how, how far off we were about understanding what it really takes to make a game like this i can't tell you how many times i've seen a map be worked on like several times and then it doesn't even make it into the main game like these developers were supposed to drop the game back in 2020 and they just barely dropped it at the end of 2023 here almost 2024 i legit think it has a lot to do with time management because again i've seen so many maps good maps i remember old gas station that was the best gas station in my personal opinion fast food the previous hotel wenderly i haven't seen that one in the game yet there was Teresa farm which is now carriers of the vine but it used to be a dark map and then a light map and then it also used to have two different variants of the same map where you would spawn in from either side i think it was 
Like all of the old multiplayer maps, I remember them revamping them a lot. And then they just scrapped those maps, I remember. So that's probably what they mean when they say they're perfectionists, because they just take a lot of time to, you know, work on one map. And that's probably what takes away a lot of time from all these other cool features. At least that's just my guess. Like, th the problem with Void is that they were never really good at being transparent. They never explained why they removed a lot of these features, as far as I can remember. But if I had to guess, it's probably because of this. It's unfortunate. I hope they re add a lot of these features but it is what it is oh and don't get me started on their freaking transparency oh my god we did not get an update for like a whole like six or seven months and then we finally got one and that was the only update that we got for an entire year towards the end of the year they had to explain to us why we couldn't get updates and i'm just like bruh but anyways i have had my problems with the development of this game for years yeah a lot of the stuff that they promised a while ago didn't make it into the game but i mean what came out was actually not too bad just kind of a thing that a lot of new developers go through they think that they're able to put almost every everything in their game and then when they finally get into it they realize oh well we're gonna have to cut this because it's messing with the stability of the game or you know something just doesn't make sense or they just didn't have enough time to fix it and make it work with the rest of the systems how in-depth we really want to go with the system ready or not is not the only game to promise a lot of stuff and then just not go through with most of it i've experienced that with several games because ready or not has an investor they only have so much time to work on ready or not before the money starts to run out so they're on a time frame at least that's my theory anyway as to why they might have rushed it out i don't know if void will ever actually tell us but one thing's for certain the game doesn't like break or anything or is completely like broken to the point that i'm saying don't buy ready or not yes it's a bit rushed i would say but not to the point that it's like a battlefield 2042 where it's just completely missing a bunch of features broken and not even worth playing void has always said that they are open to bringing back a lot of those features that they stated previously so there still is hope that a lot of those features will definitely come to the game but only time will tell what's coming in the future but one thing's for certain the updates ain't coming anytime soon that's for sure those are my thoughts on ready or not i like the game i wish it was more finished but it is what it is if you made it to this point in the video be sure to write swamp four rules down in the comment section because you a real one subscribe ding the bell and do all that jazz and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye I would just like to take the time to thank my amazing supporters, starting with Fear Operative, Brigadier24, Divine Demigod, Hazel, True Forever, Iggy, Sean, Ty from 99. If you would like to become a part of this list, be sure to hop into the membership or join the Patreon. Your support matters to me. Thank you all for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye